Hi everyone, welcome back. I am so excited. It is fall time and the weather has started to cool off just a little bit, which got me even more excited for this video. So I'm gonna be sharing with you my ranch potato recipe, a white chocolate pumpkin spice latte, and we're gonna be decorating. Also, thank you to Kohl's for sponsoring today's video. Be sure to give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. I spent the morning washing all of our sheets and linens and I decided that I wanted to open up the windows because we had a really beautiful weather on this day. It was so sunny and it felt like it was in the 70s and it was so breezy um, and this is a really good way of just airing out the house. If you guys are new to my channel, I recently moved so that's why the house looks a little bit bare and empty but our bedroom is definitely coming along. We have a few pieces coming in. I'm going for a really light airy look in here especially with all the natural daylight that we get. I I added this waffle blanket to add a little bit of texture and I feel like it adds a little bit of warmth as well. Right now I have it folded up but when it does start to get a little bit colder I'm gonna go ahead and like extend this blanket on the whole bed and kind of sandwich it in between the duvet and the sheets and that way it adds a little bit of extra warmth. And I accidentally left everything in the dryer for too long so it got super wrinkly so I just went ahead and steamed everything. Um, but this is also a really great way to freshen up your pillows and your living room. I also went ahead and just added this first throw to add a little bit more texture. I brought in a little table that I had kind of laying around. I don't have nightstands yet, so this is a perfect place to put a really nice candle. So you guys know my fall tradition is to make a fall drink and a fall recipe. So today I'm making a white chocolate pumpkin spice latte and we're gonna be taking a little shortcut because I did not feel like turning on the stove. So I'm actually gonna be mixing everything in a mug and microwaving it until the chocolate chips melt. So it's just chocolate chips, pumpkin spice, and then milk and you just mix it really well. And this is when you wanna microwave it just 30 seconds at a time until the chocolate chips melt. Once they melt, now we can go ahead and add our pumpkin and filling. I also like to add condensed milk to sweeten it and then I take my handheld frother and just froth it until it's nice and smooth and creamy and then I just add my coffee at the very end and this is so so good you guys and I just love how you can make it really fast and you don't have to turn on the stove and I do like to sprinkle a little bit more of that pumpkin pie spice on top and it's such a treat. Let me know if you guys decide to try this and we'll have the exact measurements down in the info box for you guys. Every year when the season changes, it's an opportunity to clean out my wardrobe and take out all of my cozy knits. And this year, I got everything I needed from Kohl's. They made it really convenient to put really cozy and comfy outfits together for me and my family for all of those special fall activities that we had planned, like pumpkin patch, apple picking. I wanted items that were really cute, comfy, cozy, at a good value. And Kohl's made it really convenient because I was able to get all of the cardigans, all of the basics, so this set right here is so cute, so comfy, and I like that you can kind of switch it up. So I actually ended up putting on this just basic white tee, and I like kind of rolling it up in the back so it's more of a fitted look. And then on cool days, I can just put on this really cute cardigan that's leopard print. It has pockets, it's so soft, so cute. I also love these pants. These fit so good too, and they're comfy, but they also look a little bit dressier because they're a thicker material, so they're not gonna be like completely see-through, and the length is really good. I'm five, two and a half, and they fit perfectly. I love the color blocking in this cardigan. The colors are so pretty. For something a little bit dressier, these leggings are amazing, you guys. I'm actually gonna pick them up in more colors because the fit is so good, and the band really like sucks in your tummy, so it just gives you like a flawless figure. And then the little sweater is so, so good, you guys. Like the quality is amazing, and I love that you can wear it kind of like off-shoulder for like a slouchy look. So, so soft, so good. I also picked up a few essentials for the boys to get them ready for the fall season. I got them these Henley tops. These are so cute and definitely my favorite. They come in a ton of colors and I like that they're a good transitional piece. You can wear them on cool days and you can layer them when it gets a lot colder. I also got Sebastian these jeans that pair really nicely with the tops. And if you guys did not know, Kohl's has amazing activewear at a really good value. So I did pick up a few activewear for the boys. This little jumpsuit is so stinking cute and it's perfect when I just wanna throw something 
putting on him and it's still super dressy and comfy and then I got this two piece for Sebastian which I love because you can switch up the pieces he could wear the hoodie by itself and I also got both boys some sneakers if you like getting really cute matching pajamas you have to check out Kohl's they have the cutest Halloween pajamas I got these for the boys so yeah I definitely found so many cute items at Kohl's so I highly recommend you guys checking them out to get you and your family ready for all of those outdoor fall activities coming up I'm going to link all the items that I showed down in the info box So now my favorite part, we are going to be decorating my house for the fall time. So I just started by tidying up the living room and just folding all the blankets, picking up any toys. There really wasn't much to do, thankfully. Next, I vacuumed everything, and as you can see, we finally have a TV. And you guys can see the little box that hooks up to the TV is on the side. So I am gonna eventually get like a piece of furniture to cover it. But for now, I decided to move my little blanket ladder over and use that to cover it. And I just layered a bunch of like really cute blankets that I had laying around and they kind of tie in the color palette. Then on the other side of the fireplace, I eventually plan on putting like a buffet or like a bar um, with like cabinets. But for now I have my big baskets in here that I could put blankets and toys in. And then I just went ahead and tidied up the sofa, vacuumed it. For miles in spring, rainbow trout and hummingbird wing. Golden, I follow the golden. So this year I decided to step out of my comfort zone and decorate with a new color. This color is kind of like a bronze copper color. It's so pretty. Um, I wasn't sure how it was going to turn out to be honest, but I did end up moving my brown chairs and putting those in my office and bringing these chairs that were in my office out here because I felt like it flowed a little bit better. Like I felt like the brown was kind of clashing with that copper color and I absolutely love the way it turned out. And you guys remember my pumpkin pillow from last year, one of my favorite fall accessories. And I tied in that copper color with this candle and also my maple leaves. So I did have to fill up my vase with paper to kind of give it some height. And I actually think that I need more of these maple leaves. I'll probably be getting more of them. And then I went ahead and got all of my pumpkins out. I'm not gonna be using every single pumpkin because Elliot is walking and he grabs everything and most of my pumpkins are breakable. But here's my living room. It definitely looks really bare because we don't have all our furniture in yet, but I just love the coziness that that color really added. Moving on to the kitchen area, the first thing I definitely had to do was take out my pumpkin pot, which I take out every year around the fall time, and I make a soup. I'm actually gonna be making a ham and potato ranch soup. It's got potatoes, celery, onions, garlic, um, ham, and ranch is the secret ingredient that just takes this whole soup to another level. So I really like my potato soup a little bit on the brothy side. My husband likes it super creamy and thick. So I compromised in this recipe and it's like right in the middle. But I want to know what you guys prefer. Do you prefer like a really thick and hearty potato soup or do you like it brothy? So I'm starting off with my hot pan and I'm adding my butter. Once the butter is nice and melted, I go ahead and add red onion, carrot, celery, and my diced ham. And I just kind of saute that until all of the veggies are nice and soft. Then I go ahead and add my minced garlic. You want to add this at the very end because you don't want it to burn. Just kind of saute that for like 30 seconds. And then I'm adding my flour. So you could skip this step if you want your soup to be very brothy, but if you want it to be a little bit thicker, then don't skip this step. And I'm going to cook that flour for about two to three minutes. This part is really important, otherwise your soup is gonna taste like dough or like flour and it's not gonna be a pleasant taste at all. So just cook that down for about two to three minutes. Then I'm adding my chicken broth. Then I add in my potatoes my seasonings, um, which are ranch and chicken bouillon, and this is it. This is all I'm using for seasoning, and trust me guys, this is so much flavor. Towards the end, you can always taste it and add more chicken bouillon if you want it to be a little bit saltier. 
Then I'm gonna fill the rest of the pot with water and I'm gonna bring that up to a boil. And as soon as it starts boiling, I bring down the heat to about medium low until it starts simmering. And then you're just gonna let it do its magic, let it simmer until the potatoes are soft. This gave me enough time to clean the kitchen and finish my fall decorating. So I went ahead and just cleared off all the counters, put all the dirty dishes in the sink. And then my jar that had my pink pasta, I swapped it out for black pasta. And then I moved on to the island and just completely wiped down the island. Appalachian sunrise meets my skin. And I found this little wooden tray, which I thought was really cute to use for all of my containers. This is where I have my soap, my hand lotion, and my dishwashing soap. And it just adds a little bit of wood element, which I love. My husband and Sebastian picked up some hydrangeas. So I went ahead and put those in a vase. They're so beautiful. And I love having fresh apples out during the fall time. I think they're the perfect fall accessory and decor that you can also eat. And then I also put out some pastries. Um, cinnamon rolls are like the epitome of fall time, just like pumpkin anything. So I just have that displayed and I love the combination of like the marble with the wood and the hydrangeas. I think it's so pretty. Again, in this little corner, I just added my little fairy lights and this clear pumpkin. I love decorating with fairy lights, but I don't have one that's long enough to go in the whole kitchen, so I just concentrate it in one little nook. And yeah, that is all the decor I did in the kitchen. Gold anything, gold. I'll follow me. Now we're gonna go ahead and finish up the soup and you will know that the soup is ready because the potatoes will be fork tender. And a little trick that I like doing to make the soup a little bit thicker is I will take some of those potatoes and I will mash them with a fork. And then I add a little bit of heavy whipping cream at the very end and just let that simmer for another like 15 minutes and this will help thicken the soup. I like to top mine with some white cheddar cheese, some chives, and also red chili flakes and you have to have it with like some crusty garlic bread. And I also serve that with a spinach and apple salad with some candied walnuts, pecans, goat cheese, um, a balsamic glaze, a really good olive oil, and this is like a really easy but delicious fall salad and it's like the perfect way to welcome the fall weather. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Please give it a thumbs up if you do. And thank you again to Kohl's for sponsoring today's video. Don't forget to check them out this fall season to get your family ready. I will have links down below and I will talk to you guys next time. Bye.